That sure sounds good over there, Eli. I wish I had one. Oh, wait a minute. I do, just like yours. That just shows the ultimate versatility of these amps. It does. And uh, we were talking about this uh, behind the scenes earlier, talking about nice gear. Um, And uh, the best thing about really nice gear, whether it's a nice instrument or a great amp, is that it inspires you. It makes you want to play. And uh, to me, that's, that's the biggest uh, most important thing uh, with music is the inspiration to do it. And um, so good gear inspires. That's that's the main reason to, to have it. Yes, and um, a lot of amp has a lot of subtle features that just change in the gain a little bit, especially at higher volumes will really um, result in a lot of really different tonal changes and tonal characteristics. So there's really almost no end to the sonic palette, as it were. Really, yes. And, and my palette is, is ever-changing and developing. And I need an, an amplifier that can match that ever-changing and developing palette. I like that. You want to do one more? Yes, yes. It has a smooth aftertaste. <laughs> <laughs> it smells really nice when it starts cooking. I will say that. That's a wonderful smell. Well, you go ahead and start because I got to figure out what key you're on because okay. you're on a dot and I'm on a space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, play- I'm in the key of Q on Q? this one. <laughs> All right. Let's see where he is. Just uh, demonstrating the total versatility of these amps and how, because of the really just beautiful sonic makeup of what comes out of these amplifiers, it shows that even a nice old National Steel and a big fat old Gibson can just work in perfect harmony together. 